What's going on YouTube? This is Danny and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sideshow Captain America statue by Daniel Bell. As usual we're going to get right into the review. So this statue has been out for a long time. Two and a half years something like that. And as I'm building my Avengers line I wanted a Captain America. And I was on the fence about this one for a long time. And I'd seen him in person a few years back. And honestly, the first time I saw it, I wasn't all that impressed. Plus, uh, I hadn't purchased a statue yet. At least a sideshow quarter scale statue. So, he was next to the uh, Daredevil, which is also done by Daniel Bell. And having to choose between him and Daredevil, I picked Daredevil. Because I guess the way they had him displayed... He was up higher, Daredevil, and from this angle, he looks so impressive. I just went with Daredevil at the time. So anyways, uh, I had no idea who sculpted them. I didn't know anything about statues at the time. So once you know, I got into the statue collecting uh, addiction, if you will, because uh, once you're in it, you're kind of in it. I got to know a little bit about who's sculpting and who makes good statues and why not. So anyhow, uh, this... Captain America was on my radar for a long time, even though the first time I saw it, I wasn't that crazy about it. And then uh, a few months ago, XM announced their new Captain America, which looked pretty nice. But, you know, and I thought about it. I was like, wait, this one's going to be about $1,000 plus shipping. The XM one, it's the same quarter scale statue. And is it two times better than sideshows because I still needed a Captain America and in my opinion no forget two times better I don't think it's better yeah it's a little different it's more old school comic this is a little more modern and their own take but I uh, I do like this statue so let's get into my review because you didn't tune in to hear me rant so anyways so he's standing on some kind of uh, destroyed metallic base with a uh, one of the Ultron Sentinels Destroyed engine. That's the arm. Now this little arm has a ton of detail. It's uh, you know silver and gray. Has some shading to differentiate, and a lot of really cool detail, uh, including the the wiring. Now I wish some of the cables were a different color, but that's a bit of a nitpick. Uh, as it stands, it's a nice touch. You can see that he's been in a battle. Now the base has some blues. Some grays, some blacks, and some texturing. Uh, even some screws on it, which just look like real screws. Which, again, it's just a kudos. Some battle damage. And uh, he's standing on some sort of uh, metal grate. Uh, on the back, it's got an insignia. I, I don't know exactly what that means. I think it's the Avengers, but I, I don't even remember what that is. Uh, and then a large like gouge right there. From the battle. Now this looks incredible because it's indented and it looks like real metal and real damage. This is lifted, curled up metal on the base. It just looks remarkable. What a beautiful job. And it's really a very compact base. It's not a it's not a big statue. Uh but it's it's quite quarter scale for sure. But the base is nice and compact. You can display him pretty much anywhere and it looks great. Now as we move up. We have his boots. Now, the boots are incredible. They look like real boots. These look like real strings across it. It's got a lot of really good texturing. The rubber soles look rubber. Uh, just an incredible job by Sideshow with this one. Look at the line work. Look at the texture. Uh, beautiful burgundy red with some shading in it. As we move up the costume, again, this costume's got a lot of texture. I don't know if it's picking up well on camera. But it does have a lot of texture here. And then as you move them here, it looks almost like leather-like on this part with a lot of good texture. Nice blues with some shade, you know, some shadowing and shading to give it some realism. Some cool looking knee pads. Continue to move up. I like the red, black, and white touches here. Now again, this is sort of modernized in their own take. Uh, his package. Uh, again, everything is well done as you continue to move up. You have these very realistic looking pouches. Just looks incredible. Again, this is all sculpted. None of this is mixed media. His shield looks really good. 
Uh, I could have used a little weathering, maybe some damage, but I'm not going to complain. It's a nice new looking shield. And as you move up, look at his uh, rib cage and his abs looking like an American flag. It's an awesome look. And then here you have his gloves and just more great work. Look at the detail inside the shield. Just no detail spared. Continue to move up. His chest is wide and robust like you would expect. A cool star right in the middle. And uh, just a lot of good texture and line work on this. Now this is the exclusive swap out. So he's holding an Ultron Sentinel head. It's obviously seen better days. Captain America has destroyed it. But just look at this. Look at the pose. Look at the back. Look at the muscle anatomy. The straps where the shield would go into right there. Just amazing. Uh, again, some blacks on the shoulders. Some shoulder pads with some of that fish scale look. Just incredible. A lot of texture on this Captain America. And then look at the uh, portrait. Steely blue eyes. Just perfect. Uh, that's got a little bit of uh, wear and tear on it. You can see he's been in a battle. Some of the damage on there. The A for Captain America. The little wings, these are modernized. Ears look great. The back of the neck looks terrific. Uh, really no seams to speak of. They've gotten so good at hiding seams uh, these days. It's, it's unbelievable. And here we go. So I felt that for the money, he's well worth collecting considering when you buy another quarter scale Captain America, you're expected to pay double. Yeah, I get it. The ES may be smaller. This had a very large edition size. And some people really focus on that. I know it's a factor, but for me, if I'm trying to build a collection, uh, this will work for me. And if uh, one day down the road I sell them, I get my money back, fine. If I don't, I'll enjoy them. But uh, this has been my review of Sideshow's Captain America. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, friends.